Texas is home to two of the best baseball teams in the world, but for most of the players, it's been years since they've seen the ball hit the bat. I went totally blind at 12. Limited vision in the right, none in the left. No lights, no shadows, just darkness. But thanks to a one pound ball filled with old telephone parts. Pull the pin and we got a game. Even the visually impaired can answer the call to take part in America's pastime. It's awesome. It's the greatest sport out there. You got to do things a little bit different. And, you know, just because we're doing it different doesn't mean it can't be done. The game is called Beep Baseball. All players, with the exception of the pitcher, who is not visually impaired, wear blindfolds so those with partial vision don't have an advantage. You always throw it underhand and you don't throw it overhand like you would a baseball. There are six defenders and only two bases. <laughs> If the batter gets to the base, a padded cylinder that buzzes before the ball is fielded, that's a run. And unlike conventional baseball, batters try to hit pop-ups. Uh, you don't want to do any ground balls because those are going to get scooped up pretty quick. Sure, the game is a bit different, but if you ask the players, they are not. I've never let my vision limit me. I've always done what I wanted to do. I control the disability. I don't let it control me. I realize that I still have an opportunity to to keep athletics and sports in my life. So it was it was amazing. These two teams, the Austin Blackhawks and Bayou City Heat, have finished in the top eight of the Beatball World Series each of the past four years. Call them a dynasty, just don't call them handicapped. We do everything and anything any, anybody else could do with a little mod <clears throat> modification. They hear blind baseball and they think, you know, everybody gets a trophy, circles around, you know, I played 5A high school football here in the state of Texas and this game's a lot more competitive than that. These players may have lost their sight, but not their desire to compete. Just the sound of a beep speaks volumes for these athletes love of the game. In Austin, Adam Winkler, KI TV Sports. Since I was about eight years old. Uh, I've been playing baseball since I was a young toddler, probably around four, three or four. So I've been playing baseball basically my whole life. I mean, probably since I was probably three or four, but competitively I've been playing since middle school or high school. A lot more challenging than I expected. Uh, I would have to say it was a little bit more challenging because usually I hit baseballs like really, really far. And that time I didn't. Like, I just... <laughs> 
didn't even go very far. So it was definitely more challenging than I expected. I mean, I knew obviously with a game like baseball, that's a lot of hand-eye coordination. That the eye is what I'm used to, but not having that really was even more difficult than I would have expected. Absolutely, this definitely taught me that today. I do. Uh, it gets kind of tiring striking everybody out, or you know, even whenever I hit. I mean, why am I giving everybody a chance? <laughs> I mean, in this game, I couldn't. I mean, I, I felt like wow, my abilities that God gave to me were taken away, and I just can't. Like, I can't explain how thankful I am to have the abilities that I'm blessed with to be so good. Um, after kind of experiencing this, I mean, I would say so because there are people who work probably two or three times harder, if not even more so, at doing something like beat baseball than I do at regular baseball. So I would say, yeah, I mean, just everything that I've been given, I do, at least in some way or form. Um, I think my major takeaway is that I'm just so lucky to play the game that I love and that I just can't imagine it any other way, but that this is a really cool way for kids to be able to still play the game. The game was is that even if you can see even if you're blind, I mean, either one, you can still be good at what you do. And I was blind, I was still good. I could see, I was still good. I mean, it's just kind of like, sure, you're blind and you can't see, but like, you can still be so good because you're hearing. So yeah. I'd say my takeaway from the game was that when, Faced with obstacles, some people just choose to give up or something, but other people choose to not let it define who they are, and that this game kind of gives an example of that, that there are people who are born or develop like lack of sight and they can still hit a ball and run around bases just like I